guys and welcome to today's vlog. This is gonna be a pretty fun vlog because I am gonna be showing you a DIY Christmas gift that I'm doing this year for my family. So if you're a family and you don't wanna know what we're doing for you, definitely click off of the video. Um, I know some of you aren't gonna listen and are gonna watch, so just ruin it for yourself. So yeah, this year I'm gonna be making these um, door hangers and then I'm kind of modifying them for some people because um, they don't want to hang them on their door um, So I'm gonna be doing it a little bit different. So all of these are gonna be a little bit different this video is probably gonna be over a couple days because um, I'm not gonna get it all done today for sure So I just wanted to show you guys that if you're interested keep watching Okay, so the supplies that you're gonna need for this project are 18 inch um, Wooden rounds we got these from Home Depot if you don't watch my vlog you will not know what a pain in the butt these were to find. They're 18 inch rounds. They're, um, I'm pretty sure they only sell them at Home Depot. So we got six of them and they're pretty thick. So I'm gonna lay them all out. And then the first thing I'm gonna be doing with all of these is staining them. So I'm gonna try to make them all fit. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so the first step to all of this, lay out your material really nice. And then I am going to be using this wood stain in dark walnut on all of them. I'm going to stain the front and the backs of all of these pieces of wood. Okay, once all of the coat, top coat, or the first coat is on, I'm going to start flipping them. Since I started over here, I'll flip this one, go the way that I um, stained it, and I'll stain the backs of all of these. And I'm gonna let them dry for probably a couple hours, maybe more, I don't know. My dogs are being weird. But yeah, they're all stained, front, backs, and sides. So while I'm waiting for the stain to dry and set, I'm going to get on Cricut Design Space, which is what I use for like the vinyl on the boards. And I'm gonna put together the, um, the names that I wanna do, so. I've already gotten two done. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I have a Cricut and that is what I'm using. So you have to use Cricut Design Space for this. Um, so I have two names already. I'm gonna do another name. So when you type it out, um, the letters are not connected. Okay, so this is like my last name. So as you can see, the letters are not connected. And what you do to connect the letters I make it big so I can see it really well. You go to this right here that says advanced and you click it and then you press ungroup letters. And then now each letter is by itself and you can drag it over and make it like actually look cursive. And so I'm gonna do this. And then once you're done putting all the letters together and have it exactly how you want it, 
right down here it is this option that says weld and you click over the whole name and then you press weld and then it is together as one word and one name and I like the way that looks make sure so I click the whole name press weld sometimes this happens um, so what I do I undo the weld and then I just go in and I try to see where because sometimes the letters are too close so that's what causes that and now hopefully I can weld it and it won't do that see the E still doing it so I'm gonna have to go in here and work with it a little bit but that is how you do that okay I brought the stuff inside because it's kind of cold out and I just wanted to do it inside so I put a big canvas tarp on this I'm gonna be doing several different designs on these so I'm gonna tape them off decide which side I want to be the front which side is the back and then start okay I taped this one off so I'm gonna paint this middle part right here on this one and then I'm painting this lower part on this one and I'm using this Rust-Oleum chalked paint done I did different like paint on all of them except for these two because I, I really liked that one but they're all different kind of excited about it I'm going to take these two inside and take the tape off and kind of decide what I'm gonna do with them I pulled the tape off of these two and I'm going to use the Cricut. So I went upstairs and got the supplies for it. I have the Explorer Air and I'm going to use black um, vinyl on the white and then white vinyl on the wood if I put a word on the wood. And then I got the 24 inch mat. Um, this is the tool that I use the most. It's like a pointy one. You guys can't really see it. stencil put on here that's probably like the hardest part to be honest um and then i made a little bow out of this um ribbon i don't have like a real way to make a bow i just kind of put it into the shape and then tied a little tie around the middle part so that it would stay together i bought these from hobby lobby the other day so they're gonna go there and then the bow will go right on top of that. Okay, for this next step, you are going to need some Mod Podge. Um, this is matte Mod Podge and a paintbrush. And because it's wood, um, and this wood specifically down here is kind of rough, the vinyl won't stick to it very well. Um, I'm gonna Mod Podge the entire thing and it basically like glues down the vinyl onto it so it stays on all the time and it's going to be an outdoor sign so i want it to be good for when it's outdoors
the finished product of the board. This is the front, this is the back. We are going to be using a staple gun and stapling this part on so that it stays really well. I glued it at first just to like see what it looked like and then we will staple it on so that it is secure. We'll also probably be stapling part of the flowers on there so that they stay on really well. But this is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, um, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. I know I didn't film like everything, so um, I tried my best, but um, once you get in the groove, you just like start doing it and you don't really think to pick up the camera and show like making a bow or whatever. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.